Hi, I'm Vikram and uh, welcome back to A Roll of Film. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at the Zenit ET. Uh, the Zenit ET is a fully manual uh, 35mm SLR camera made by the Zenit company in the erstwhile USSR. This camera was manufactured uh, from 1982 to 1993. And uh, it came in six types and eleven subtypes, so rather complicated. But uh, this is an absolute gem of a camera, and totally manual. It doesn't require a battery at all. And uh, so let's start. Let's have a look at this camera now. So it has a M42 uh, mount, uh, screw type mount. So only lenses with the M42 screw type can fit on this and which includes actually the Helios 44-2 58mm f2 lens which I have reviewed before and uh, those who haven't seen that review I suggest that you do so, highly recommend it I've uh, put a, I'll drop a link in the description below, please do have a look so as I said, so it has an M42 uh, screw type mount and it has a exposure meter which is not battery operated but it has a sel selenium cell uh, exposure meter which basically means that it is solar powered now this is an uncoupled uh, exposure meter which means that you, it give, you get you get a reading but then you have to manually uh, uh, fix those readings or with your I mean you have to manually set your shutter speed and your aperture to get those get to get that expo exposure setting you cannot uh, it, it is totally uh, disjointed it is not attached to either the aperture or the shutter speed so how this works is, it's a rather complicated uh, system, I mean, a uh, bit of a problem in the sense that here on the left hand side you have two dials and you have this window here which has a ring and a needle. So in this dial, you have two dials, you have an inner dial and you have an outer dial. So, And the inner dial has two windows which basically shows you the DIN and the ISO. So you have to first depending upon the film you have, move this around so that the DIN reading and the ISO reading, ASA reading is visible here in these two windows. Now the inner ring, apart from these two windows for the, uh, for the ASA settings, has your aperture values on top and then the outer ring which swivels around has your shutter speed settings. Now you swivel your the outer ring, after setting your ASA and the DIN, you move the outer ring and uh, align the needle and the circle. So the circle and the needle should align here in this window and then here you will have, your, you can get your readings here as to if you have say an F4 aperture and this, this thing you will need a 30, 30th, one th a 30th of a second uh, shutter speed. Once you get this reading, you can decide which uh, uh, what shutter speed, uh, what a, uh, aperture you want or which shutter speed you want accordingly you'll have to make the adjustments yourself in the aperture and the shutter speed you'll have to adjust yourself so this is what is called uncoupled usually uh, you can uh, the meter will give you a reading as you change your uh, aperture or your shutter speed not so in this case this will, this will give you a reading telling you what aperture and what shutter speed to use and then you have to manually make the changes in the aperture and your shutter speed. So it's a bit uh, a bit cumbersome but uh, pretty effective. Uh, unfortunately uh, these these uh, cells here, these solar cells, selenium cells, they deteriorate over age and after some time the meter just goes haywire. I mean it's not very reliable and in this particular uh, camera that I have here uh, it doesn't work at all. So you'll have to use uh, you have to use the Sunny 16 rule for example and uh, I have reviewed the Sunny 16 rule and if you haven't seen it uh, I'll drop a link down in the description please have a look uh, highly recommend it so apart from the uh, from the exposure meter uh, which is basically solar solar powered you have your shutter speeds now you have very rather restricted number of shutter speeds you have the B of course it's the bulb you have the uh, 30th of a second, 60th of a second, 125th, 250th and 500th of a second all classic uh, one stop differences uh, you don't have anything beyond 500 so uh, that's a bit of a constraint uh, you have here the film advance lever it's 
it's only after you advance the lever can you will the shutter work without advance once you use the shutter and if you don't advance the lever the shutter will not work so you have to advance the lever which cocks the shutter and then you use the shutter so that uh, takes care of any dangers of uh, double exposure etc but uh, which also means that you cannot do a multiple exposure on the same frame so that is one constraint and here you have the you have your uh, uh, frame rate here i mean it tells you how many frames left how many shots left on your reel again this you have to uh, adjust it manually once you load your film it also has a a self timer here which you pull this down and then you press this little button here this activates the self timer i'll just show you a little bit there it is activating the self timer and then you this thing you also have your flash you can use your flash hot shoe for the flash so rather simple uh, simple camera with the very basics and yes of course uh, the focus thing it has a matte screen for focusing uh, Which you which you use for focusing again all manual manual focus nothing automatic about this camera everything manual old war horse from the Soviet Union gives excellent results especially with the Helios lens the Helios lens of course are uh, I mean they have a cult following and I think they they go best with this with the Zenith camera both they were basically made for each other well I hope you like this review and if you do if you did uh, kindly like. Uh, share and subscribe to my channel thank you